Hey ladies and gents, we are going to be doing our testing of inorganic poisons portion of our lab now. We are testing three known poisons, lead, mercury, and cyanide, against an unknown to determine what our unknown is most similar to. Now the reagents we're going to be testing our poisons with are K2CRO4, which is potassium chromate, dithazone, and then we're going to be doing a, a special cyanide test for cyanide, which involves a ferrous sulfate, FeSO4. All right, so first we've already placed our poisons into the wells. So the lead and the mercury into the wells that we're going to add the potassium chromate and dithazone to. Our cyanide to the well we're going to be doing the cyanide test on. And then our unknown goes in all three of the wells. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to test our known poisons lead and mercury with potassium chromate and dithazone. So James, if you would please add two drops of the potassium chromate to the lead solution. Very nice. And Liam, if you wouldn't mind taking your stir and stirring that around a little bit. So if you look, it turns this kind of yellow color, but you'll notice a solid starts to form. That solid is called a precipitate. It's when the actual metallic lead starts to precipitate out of the two combined liquids. Thank you, Liam. You can stop now. James, would you now add two drops of the potassium chromate to the mercury? All right, Liam, if you wouldn't mind giving that a good stir. So once again, we see a precipitate, but this, in this case, it is kind of a dark orange precipitate. Excellent, Liam, you can stop now. So we can look, we can see that kind of solid powdery type stuff starting to form. All right, leave that alone. All right, Bridget, if you wouldn't mind adding the dithazone to our lead and mercury solutions. All right, first two drops to the lead. All right, and if we look closely, you can see kind of an orange color forms. Yeah, Liam, give it a stir if you would, please. And it really just kind of turns an orange color. Really nothing going on there. Excellent, Liam, thank you. And now, Bridget, if you'll add two drops of dithazone to the mercury. All right, now what you see, it sees kind of a dark purple color. Liam, if you give that a little stir, you can see there's already movement going on inside. Excellent. And on the sides, that's good, Liam, thank you. You can see it also forms another kind of purple precipitate. But you'll notice it's, it's moving around quite a bit on its own. And what's actually going on there is the reaction itself is creating heat from the reaction, which is causing the, uh, the precipitate to clump up and move around inside the solution. All right, so let's look at our results again. So lead's reaction with potassium chromate turns a bright yellow color with a precipitate. Mercury's reaction with the potassium chromate turns kind of a, an orange or burnt orange color with a precipitate. Lead's reaction with our dithazone just kind of turns a, a light orange color. And then our mercury's reaction with the dithazone turns a dark purple color with a precipitate. Now we're going to stop the video there and then get set up for our cyanide test. 